little sample from Bizet's Carmen, and we're going to talk about the chromatic. You saw a little bit of that right here, which is a very simple pattern and a very predictable pattern that you will learn and will certainly help you out in moving up and down the fingerboard as you learn more difficult pieces. The pattern is simple. It's a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's all it is. So without further ado, let's zoom in and jump right into the technique. In the fourth scale exercise in my scale book, you will find the chromatic fingering, which is a one, two, three fingering. I want you to start here in half position, then you slide up to high second position, slide up to fourth position, and the very last position is right here, between the end of fourth position and the beginning of thumb one. So you start here in half position on the G, zero, one, two, three, shift, one, two, three, shift, one, two, three, and lastly, shift, one, two, three. It's the same fingering for the D string and also for the A string. You should also practice when you're doing this not doing your fingers like this. You're not doing the spider walk. You're going to be placing the fingers as a three, sliding up, placing the fingers, always thumb behind the two, sliding up, placing the fingers, you're always placing them as a group. When you come down on the string, you're going to do the same thing. Three, two, one, slide back, establish your position, which is fourth. Three, two, one, slide back to your high second position, Three, two, one, always thumb behind the two, and sliding back to half position, three, two, one. I will demonstrate this for you by playing. Now on the D string. A string. Thank you for watching my video today on the chromatic scale, which is in your scale book, Scale Exercises 4. So please like if you learned something today. Consider subscribing because I'm always going to be uploading videos. And if you certainly want to leave a comment, I invite those at all times. If you want to check out more of my scale exercises videos, you can look at this one here. That is the one on the two octave scales coming up shortly, and then you can certainly also check this video out too, that's appropriate for your level. So thank you again for subscribing, thank you for watching, and stick around. I think we're gonna learn a lot.